I've been thinking about selling my MacBook Pro for a while now. My current model is the 2017 13 inch MacBook Pro with a touch bar. It has eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Just telling you the specs right there, you probably can figure as to why I want to replace my current model. First, I like to say that I really have enjoyed this laptop. I love the weight, the shape, the portability, especially when comparing it to my previous laptop, which was a 2015 MacBook Air. What I think makes Apple so great is they focus on the essentials. The Retina display, the trackpad, are one of the main reasons why I haven't jumped ship. One of the main reasons why I haven't left the Apple ecosystem or wanted to switch operating systems. We'll say that the Dell XPS 4K model at least has a really, really nice display, but I'm not the biggest fan of the trackpad or the size of the trackpad. Apple has done a remarkable job with the trackpad. I have no complaints at all. The sensitivity is flawless. The positioning is great and ergonomically friendly. And in terms of what the actual laptops look like, the space gray finish is really, really nice. And if I'm spending a lot of money on a laptop, I do want it to look good. So a lot of you already know all this stuff. I just figure I'd shed some light on some of the things that I love about my current laptop before I talk about some of the frustrations I've been having with it, which is the reason why I want to replace it. The first reason why I want to make an upgrade and want to replace this laptop is not the keyboard, believe it or not. I know a lot of people have had trouble with the keyboard. I haven't had trouble myself, at least not yet, with the butterfly keyboard. I use a MacBook Pro 2019 15 inch for my work laptop and I haven't had any trouble there either. But the main reason for me is to be able to push out better content on YouTube, be able to edit more efficiently and effectively. Not only that, it's just been really frustrating trying to make high quality videos on my laptop. A lot of that is because I have the lower end version of the MacBook Pro model. So that's not Apple's fault at all. That was just me not being cheap, but more so when I bought this laptop, I didn't see any laptops that I was really, really interested in purchasing. And I knew that Apple was gonna be coming out with a 16 inch model. So I figured I get a laptop that is more affordable so my laptop is actually refurbished and i'll make a video talking about apple refurbished products because i think it's a great option especially since they're so pricey but i digress i got this laptop because i didn't want to spend too much money knowing that a better higher end version of the macbook pro was going to come out that would be better for programmers like myself and content creators like myself the camera i shoot with is the sony a7 III. the reason why that's important is because this camera shoots in 4K and it's 2019, about to be 2020. I want all of my videos to be shot in 4K. Everything looks sharper, the bokeh looks better. Everything just looks better. It feels more professional for me to upload a video that has a little 4K tag on it anyways. And if I paid all this money to have a camera that shoots 4K in 24 frames per second, then I wanna be able to use it. But I haven't been able to use it the way I want to because rendering and scrubbing footage in Premiere Pro with my laptop is a nightmare. Like when I mean my laptop gets slower than a sloth on a highway, I'm not lying. In all honesty, it's been really frustrating not being able to use the full capabilities of my laptop, not being able to put higher end quality into my videos because I have like a time crunch because I'm either working with a brand or I wanna get a video out at a certain time on a certain day and it can be really frustrating not adding special effects, warp stabilization to make my videos look better. And I just feel like I'm restricted as a content creator and that's really frustrating. Sometimes a six minute 4K video can take 40, 45 minutes to export. Sometimes a 4K video that's one minute long can take three hours. It's really hit or miss. I'll never forget, I was so frustrated. I was working with a client on a video and I needed to 
get it to them at a certain time so they could upload it on Instagram. And I thought that I'd be okay with exporting it in like three minutes because I don't even know if the video was 4K, it might have only been 1080p. And I thought it was gonna take like literally like four or five minutes, not even that because it was only a minute long and it took three hours. So I had to tell them, sorry, I can't get this to you because my laptop just isn't powerful enough. And that was very embarrassing. Luckily I have a great relationship with that client so it was okay. But what if I was working with someone who hadn't worked with me before, that's just not a good look. The display really isn't working that well for me either and that's not a Apple problem, that's a Jossie purchased a 13 inch MacBook Pro problem. So I really do wanna get at least 15 inches. I plan on getting the 16 inch. And the, one of the main reasons is because I do wanna do more personal projects, um, programming personal projects. So some web development, some iOS development, and I need a little bit more screen real estate. I do have the Dell U2717D monitor and that's been a great, great, great monitor to use. It's made video editing a lot faster for me because the modules within Premiere Pro are a lot larger and I, could, and I can also use those to their full capability. But that's another story for another day. Screen real estate's really important. And video editing, computing, screen real estate is very valuable. I could talk about the keyboard and how weird it is, how the typing experience isn't the greatest, but everyone knows that. I'm just happy that my butterfly keyboard. <coughs> so you're probably wondering what I wanna replace this laptop with, and it's the MacBook Pro 16 inch. And I'm actually really excited to stay in the Apple ecosystem because I'm not gonna lie, I felt like my only option was either the Dell XPS in 4K or one of those Razer laptops because they give you so much bang for your buck and Apple just wasn't cutting it for me laptop wise but now the 16 inch is proving to be more powerful. The keyboard is a lot better and it already gives me better specs than my 13 inch MacBook Pro. So that's already a plus for me. I also really enjoy how Apple is marketing this laptop, merging the content creator world with the software engineer or engineering world. So this laptop is not only powerful for video creation, but also powerful for computing. But with that being said, that concludes this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can know as soon as I drop a video and have a blessed rest of your week. Oh, don't forget to like this video and comment down below some of your thoughts. And I'll see you all next week or maybe sometime this week. Peace. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I